make sure y'all get a good visual of this. Some people ask me, what do I feed my dogs? So, with that question asked, I don't like to use complete kibble. Um, there are some days, of course, when I have to. Um, but this, because I got a, a pregnant girl back there, um, I'm making sure I put the oats in there. And there's oats, raw oats that she has in there, as well as uh, sweet potatoes. She see, They seem to like that. Um... And then, of course, my trusty Victor, uh, the professional, great. Um, and it's also good for whelping mothers, good for pups. So it'll be easy to transition them. You don't have to worry about getting a different brand of puppy food or whatever. You can um, use this for the pups as well as the adults. So I, I'm a pretty... I'm a pretty um, how do I say, loyal, Victor fan, customer. So that is what this concoction is right here. It is, again, oats, sweet potatoes, the kibbles, and for, for Zur, I mean for Zeus, y'all know I said Zuri, that's, <laughs> that's my old pit. But for, um, for Zeus, we got a little bit of that ground beef as well. Sweet potatoes. He doesn't get any oats, of course. But, and then I let the kibble sit in the water um, a little bit instead of giving him that hard, dry kibble. You know, a lot of y'all just take uh, dog food and pour it right in the bowl from the bag. And it's really, dis um, to me, it's just really disrespectful because if somebody gave you a bunch of dry ass wheat instead of giving you some bread I don't think you would like that very much you kind of like it when the bread is baked from the wheat or whatever but I think that if you're going to give your dog some kibble you can at least try to dock it some where you're taking it and let it uh, put a little warm water with it and let it kind of dissolve some make its own juices uh, soften the kibble some because in my estimation you know it's too many dogs coming up with cancer and I do believe it's because of the kibble and the diet that they have that we've replaced the raw um, feedings of our dog with a lot of this kibble stuff so that's a problem in my opinion So again, I'm going to take a little of this, um, the biggest meal is in the morning. I try not to give them that much in the evening, um, but I just kind of make the biggest meal for the morning, and um, I don't let them charge for the food when I give it to them. They have to be respectful. They got to sit down and wait until they're allowed to eat. And they do pretty good with that. That is something that we've started doing since they were real small. And, you know, once you instill it in them, you don't have to do it every day if you don't choose to. But it's good that you do. But there's some times when you may forget. But if you've really done it enough to instill it in them, then you don't have to worry about it. They'll always fall back because it's what they know. Okay? So, again, this is a little hamburger that I wanted to add to okay now um, again the, the big meal is to me the morning it's the way I try to do it anyways so we want to mix that up a little bit sweet potato raw sweet potato I did let it boil a little bit just to uh, soften it. Some people give it raw. I've, I, get, I cut it up and give it raw and give it like treats. So, but I kind of like let it get some heat to it, soften it up when I put it in the dog food. So you can try it either way. It's up to you guys how you want to do it. Okay.
Now, with that being said, let me see. Can't even. So, we got those two going. Personally, I like to add a couple eggs and all this with just using a cup of kibble and that way I can uh, stretch the kibble a little bit further and I can also add something else. A lot of people give the dog the, the whole egg, the shell and all. I don't. I just um, I just give them the contents of it, stir that up a little bit. Um, this is Zeus's bowl right here. And of course, I'll let you guys see how he does. We'll do that right now. This is his, this is his bowl. Uh, right. There it is. There's his goodies for today. His first batch of food. And of course, he knows it's for him because you can hear him squealing out there. Done in love. And I'm about to give it to him. Okay, go down there. Go down there and wait for your food. Stay. Go down there and stay. Stay. No, go. Go. Stay. Sit. And you wait. You stay. All right, come on. And there he is. Okay. Another thing, when you got big dogs like this, I mean, you can't afford to have them kind of feeding them separate right now and doing it like this. Since I don't want nobody rough, want him roughhousing with Pepper, of course, because he likes to do that a lot. And you know? here's this egg. that egg in there for her. she can't have gravy she will get the water in there that will help make the gravy and um that's how we do it yeah it's a little slushy right y'all probably like Ugh, it's a little slushy I don't like the way that look well This is what I give to her, and she loves it, just like that. Sometimes I change up on the consistency, but here we go. There's an egg, there's ground beef, there's sweet potato, there's oatmeal, and about a cup of kibble, okay? And because my dog loves gravy and things like that, I've done it in that uh, in that way. All right. Okay, you guys. All right. Wanted to just show you that, and I'm going to be back a little later with another video.